Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create this type of config in your AWS Treasure. First create a new document. Then I will copy my colors from the old artboard. By the way, you can download those colors from the link on the video's description. Now we'll make our large confettis. For that we need to go to brushes. Open up your brushes window. And go to brushes library. Artistic and artistic click of brush. You can use the number 30 or the 40, whatever you like, even you can use the 50. These three are the right choice for confettis. So I'll select my brush tool and try to draw some confettis. This one looks good, but I don't want this corner, so I'll select with the direct selection tool and make it round. That's fine. Don't worry about the colors, just create some confettis. It should be a random design, there is no specific design or something like that. You can create your own design. this one okay I will use this three now all of those are in stroke first we have to break those I will explain why we have to break those Just select the scissor tool and cut on those places where the color is little bit lower for example on this place this and this part this part don't cut on thick area just cut on those thin areas same over here not in this place sorry make sure you click on top of the path otherwise it won't work on this place just cut order place you feels right same over here then group them select and group same select and group now you can select all of those and go to object expand appearance it will expand all of the path into a shape then you can pick any color now if you check over here it, this color is almost fine but we have to match this part select this part with the direct selection tool and click on G for the gradient tool and change the gradient now it's looking much better Okay, this is fine. Okay, we have to match it. For example, this gradient should go like this. Just try to match with the in point. It's fine. Okay, and that's fine for me. Now make all of them a little bit smaller and make copy two or three copies. Now change this color to some other colors. That should be fine. Move those on the side. We'll use those later. 
you can close the brush window now now we will make our little small confettis for that uh, I will just select the polygon tool and create a polygon you can uh, choose any color you want and just fill it, fill it up with the black and make some random copies I will explain in a moment just make lots of copies that should be fine okay now go to the pathfinder and click on divider path ungroup them now delete some paths okay and this should be fine now if you move paths as you can see now a random shape has been created we have to give these things colors so that's fine I'll give this yellow color and uh, exactly we don't want the exact shape so I'll go to effect appearance effect warp I'll change the shape a little bit this should be fine I'll make another copy of this some of them and change the shape with warp okay apply like effect this should be fine okay as you can see our random shape has been created you can make those sizes smaller you go to appearance expand appearance so everything become a shape now you can duplicate those duplicate this and make this red color put this like this okay over here then make a copy of this and put some other color now select all of them click on align to artboard and click on middle align divide in the center over here over here also Okay, I will make them smaller, those looks a little bit bigger. Okay, and that should be fine. Now, as you can see, our confetti has been randomly scared. Make it a little bit more smaller. Okay, it looks much better. Now, you can put our large confetti. For example, places like this. Just select all of them right click arrange arrange to the front so the large confetti appears on top you can put anywhere you want just put on random places that's about it you can put as many confetti as you want that's how you can create realistic confetti in Adobe Illustrator Thank you for watching, have a nice day, I will see you on the next video.